assalamu alaikum dear viewers welcome to our youtube channel design experts in this video we will study the complete design procedure of concrete frame design column beam load calculation according to the international reference books let's start click on file new model and use save user default setting which we saved from the previous model the setting with the files from the previous model so we will use this one si system and this two is using per steel structures and the can per concrete design we will use aci so we will use aci 318-14 per concrete design so now this uh, is per the same span so we we are using your uh, variable span so therefore we edit grid lines and click on the display grid line data spacing now we take help from the drawing dimensions all the dimensions are given here so 5.20 and 3.30 and 5.90 so right here 5.20 3.30 and 5.90 this is x grid data in x direction this will be grid data y direction so in y direction it is 5.20 2.30 and 7 meter is a half span so enter the value and the top of the screen the grid data the grid lines also appears in x direction and y direction so now uh, number of stories we recommend to and typical height story height is 3.20 and bottom story height is 3.20 the bottom story height we will discuss about this story in next video with detail it is from the uh, base to the tie beam level so now define the material material properties add new properties select the country you want and now i selected united states concrete a psi 5000 so let's check this one how much is mpa 34.47 it means 35 mpa so now you have to select the uh rebar stm 615 and 70 60 grit is already so we selected uh, 75 grit steel if we need it we will use it according to the reference codes okay okay now we move to define the sectional property of the concrete members so select the rectangular because we have all the rectangulars and delete the existed properties edit select the rectangular from here there is a lot of shapes you can select up according to your choice here we add c1 the size of the columns different column is given here c1 is 200 by 600 mm Two hundred by six hundred mm. Here shape is rectangular, and it is six hundred is the depth of the column, and two hundred is width of the column. Modify and show rebar. The select the M three column, and sixty grit steel will be used in this project for columns. So now we add the C two. The size of the C two column is. 200 by 800 and thus concrete using 4000 psi 800 depth and 200 is width of the column modify and show rebar 60 grade will be still will be using we will define what is the 60 grade steel in the cover uh, 30 uh, mm will be using in the steel you can choice according to your code book are your consultant directed design manual 
so here we using 16 antonyms shear shear bars okay and add new property as bar c3 select here c3 the size of the c3 is 200 by 1000 to the one select 200 by 1000 and uh, here is also the depth is 1000 and 200 is width modify and show rebar select the column and 60 grit is okay for this column so the steel cover will be 330 mm and steel will die up bar will be using 16 mm per column and beams 16 mm and shear shear bar will be 8 mm add new property you can also select the circular if you not from here you select the circular here automatically selected circular so the diameter of the uh, circle is 300 mm modify and show rebar this uh, concrete cover will be 30 mm as well and the number of steel bar will be using for this column will as suggested at numbers and dia bar 16 mm shear uh, stress shear rebar will be 8 mm then 60 grit steel are recommended for also this column as well so now we move to design beam as well add new property the beam is also also rectangular in shape select the size of the beam as a b1 by entering the size 0, 200 by 800 for b1 so the 800 into if you forgot to uh, to enter the video you can modify it also select here beam the cover the top cover will be a 30 mm in the bottom as well 30 mm steel will be 60 mm for both the column and beams so okay if you modify the beam select the beam and modify and show the rebars now add the another beam select the b2 the b2 size is 200 by 700 700 100. 700 is depth and 200 is here you select the m3 design only beam can provide the cover as a 30 mm as a 30 mm and okay still is 60 grade for this beam so click okay now we define the slave delete the existing you can modify, show and modify also the this property but we added new property as a s1 is 200 mm and the concrete using 4000 psi and the slab will be shield thin and a slab and 200 mm will be the thickness of this slab okay select uh, delete the existing slab property now we move to draw the columns beams and slab to uh, you can also draw from here go to draw main menu and select the column or beam or slab here this is beam this is one is slab uh, now select the or select from here select the column right now and here you have to select multi stories all stories i selected all story and click on columns now 
change the property of the column you must have to change the property of the column according to your drawing so i select c1 for this model and will be check that we erase the c1 location so let's go to drawing c1 is all on the grid line x direction grid line 1 and grid line 2 are c1 so select one by one you can also click the mouse and drag the mouse to assign the columns now select c the grid line second is also c1 repeat the process for the grid line 2 assign the columns click and drag the mouse to assign the columns the grid line to now the some columns orientation are different from each other so this is the same orientation we will check other columns now check the other column the one column orientation is different with these two columns c3 orientation is different from others so now select the c3 now how to change the orientation uh, orientation will be changed to 90 degree from the 0 to 90 degree to 180 degree here we will change the orientation 90 degree from x direction to towards y direction so i selected 90 degree c the column is assigned and we also assign the last one column also same like this here is also c3 assign now check the other columns where is here is also c2 on the same direction so select the c2 change the orientation to 90 degree it is already 90 degree to keep it off this one is also on 90 degree from x direction towards 9 uh, y direction on 90 degree in rectangular shape from x to y direction it will be um, 90 degree so i select assign this all columns by the dragging dragging mouse to you see in the uh, model that all the columns has been assigned now select the beam change the property as like uh, columns now see the orientation of the beams also select the beams change the property to from column to beam b1 so we selected b1 and here you see the in drawing that where is the location of b1 so here the b1 and all long span all b1 so select all the story as like before click outside the model and drag the mouse to draw the beam if the size of the beam are same if the size are not the same so you should assign one by one like this basically the short span we provide minimum size of the beam and sometime the more than six properties for the beam will be designing because the size uh, of the beam is depend on the span between two columns and such is uh, such as in short span we provide for minimum size of the beam keep continue assigning the beam in the short span the beam size will be less than the size of the long spans
here we will provide the b2 the size of the b2 is 200 by 700 it is short span select the, the beams in short span it is a y direction as well x direction all the beam assignment has been completed and now we will uh, make a reference point for the stairs so go to the first story 5.6.4 and select all the sim similar stories and go to edit menu modify and show property reference points at 3 meter from the base ok and ok now go to the 1.5 level above the ground level and 3 meter uh, above from the base point so select the slab and drag the assign the slab it is the landing of landing area of the stairs select 1.20 meter by 3.3 meter again select the beam change the property for this beam select a b2 assign the beam to this point is above from the ground level from the tie beam level 1.5 meter and 3 meter from the base it is so now we click on this uh, beam divided it into two points so click on this beam and go to edit menu edit frame divided frame into two objects parts select the object will be divided so the object divided into two so this is we are in stair level so we go to the first floor 5.7 meter so take the slab from here and draw the landing area as you one meter or two meter i selected two meter for this area by three three meter so now also assign beam to this slab landing slab as like select this and do I go to edit menu edit frame divided frame uh, into two parts and okay the beam has been divided so now select on this b a slab also this uh, another slab as will beam uh, replicate it into go to story and third story okay you see that the slab has been replicated to story three the beam we not as uh, selected so now we draw the beam if you forgot to select you can draw again so now we go to the 3d model and also same select this beam divided this also into two parts you must note that every uh, landing every landing area should be divided into two parts now rotate the rotate the model delete to easily see this go to 3d and now rotate them select the slab s1 
select all the story, uh, similar stories click here a point one point go to point two point three and point four and zero point so now one side stair is being created now rotate the model In the right side that you easily see if you want to uh, select all the stairs and go to the view show selected subject to object only so will you will only see the stairs so now select repeat the process same here now the stair has been creation of stair has been completed you can see here that from the ground to ground story to first floor stairs has been created like this so now go to 3d now we will don't skip the video that you understand from a to z about the procedures and designs now assign the slab to this model select this click on the slab icon and select the slab one remember the one thing you select the one story from the bottom now click on the slab you can also uh, click click out or outside of the slab and drag the moves to assign the slab to and one by one you also can assign so now we that is the first floor so we go to the last one 9.9 .9. so same repeat the same process you can also so if you in first floor you can also select the beam select the slab and go to edit menu and replicate click on the replicate go to story 3 select the story 3 and ok so the slab will be replicated to the story 3 2 now model the 3d modeling go to plane and then click on 3d click here now you will see that the stair position you rotate the model again and see the tie beams as well other beams and stairs position so now we will move to assign the load to this floor select go to selector and object type select the floor floor has been selected so now go to assign shell load click on shell load and uniform distributed load the uniform load is here is a screed load per floor is 0 0.35 according to the AC 716 enter the value 0 0.35 kilonewton per meter square and apply a load has been assigned to the floor 0 0.35 now assign the shell load selected the floor again and go to the repeat the same go to uniform be remember that uh, you have selected um, similar stories if you selected one story the load will be assigned to one story so we assigning with this load to one story after that we will uh, replicate this load to the uh, uh, ground floor, floor 
also you should to select a similar stories now select the this one as point two zero select the floor again enter the load 1.53 floor finishing it is from the international book code AC, AC 7 uh, 705 same as now assign the shell load repeat the same but here select the live load the live load as per the consultant manual or from AC 17 is minimum concentrated live load is a residential building check the residential here uh, all the bones is check this is school all the other connections uh, see residential all other residential occupancies private room and occupancies we will add this 40 kilo newton uh, 1.92 kilo newton per meter square 40 pound per feet square so 1.92 we recommended the consultant 2 kilo newton per meter square life load okay all the load has been assigned to the slab now close now select now select the similar stories we you have to select always similar stories per load assignment now select this walls load where the wall you have to construct you have to select the walls parapet wall will be not taken to accounts so we just here uh, select the similar stories so the load the wall load will be uh, assigned to all the uh, building so you have to select a one by one story because the top story there is uh, no height not the same height like the down ground floor so you take care here but here the work consultant from our consultant manual it is one line load is 10 kN per meter so we will we enter the this load 10 kN per meter right here 10 kN per meter it is not per meter square it is per running meter ok so you see that the wall has been the load has been assigned to the walls you can check here i selected uh, all similar stories per line load of walls you should to use separate one story and separately uh, assign the loads to the the line load of the walls one by one assign the load to the uh, stairs so Deed load is 4.5 kN per meter square. It is assumed. You can add it from the reference books of international standards AC716 or UBC 1997. Select the stair. Assign shell load uniform 4.5 and click ok the similar stories has been selected so select one it will be assigned to all the slabs so see this 4.5 kN load has been assigned to the slab of the stairs so now shell load uniform distribution uniform load select the live load is 2 kN per meter square a residential building as we assigned to the floor already so now rotate the object 
Seeded two kilonewton load has been assigned. So now go to three story. Now go to define mass source. You can edit it, but I add new mass source. The first is the silk weight, which is been the not uh, taken any counts because the ATF calculated the silk load. Select the light load is 0.25. If the length it is uh, according to the ASC 17 that if the load, uh, if the height of the building is less than 10, it will be 0.25. If the high from uh, 10 meter, it will be 0.50 meter. So I uh, write here 50.50 in 50% 50 of the total load in the city default mass source M1. And okay. Now we will define the diaphragm D1. Select object types, floors. Okay. And now assign the shell. Go to diaphragm D1. Okay. Diaphragm has been assigned to. Now we define the load pattern, uh, wind load. Without diaphragm assignments, you cannot calculate the wind load because the diaphragm calculate the width of the building. So now you will be seeing direction in x direction. It is wind load according to the SC seven zero five add new and y direction to a type is wind load so now it's modify lateral loads so enter it is equal to the wind load data is the from or consultants it is already calculated here live load data it is live load data when we design data for ac 0505 uh, chapter number six uh, in our area wind velocity av is equal to 38 per meter meter per second so we will write here 38 and the class is c according to the ac 07 here you see that the diaphragm calculated the weight of the floor so now modify this one 38 class is c here you modify and show it will be 90 degree here the open velocity and all the concerns loads defined and the reference is also provided by the consultant here we will enter the according to our consultants recommendation for from x to y it is 90 degree so here you should to add 90 degree for y direction now go to the 3d and the other way to assign the when load fracture coefficients so auto you should to add the auto cladding to the floor cladding has been assigned to the floors now select the floor in x direction this one is x direction select one it is already selected pattern similar stories so it will be automatically selecting wind pressure coefficients it is assumed this coefficient is assumed it is for every local area it is according to the wind pressure so repeat the process again by opposite direction of leeward position or rear position of the building select the same as like in x direction and wind pressure x direction 
lever position so it is 0.4 assume 0 0.40 and okay now the same process will be repeating for y direction as well this is y direction select it and go to assign shell shell loads go to width pressure coefficients and change the direction go to y and at this close now rotate it and assign same like to the rear position rear sides back sides wind pressure coefficient lever lever position 0.45 and okay it is all assumed so now when wind load assignment has been completed now go to the load combination go to the define load combination add combo 1 means we will add will provided by the consultant if not provided you can collect from the IBC or UBC or ASCE 716 and anyone 1.4 D at here one point four. Okay, at new combo, new combo is here one point two D plus F plus T plus one point six L. The other is snow or uh, wind load or rain load so we don't take it in two accounts if you want to design a snow load include snow and rain load you can your combination will be changed so lead load is 1.2 and life load will be 1.6 and okay add the third combo combination so here the third combo is 1.2 t plus 1.6 roof load snow load or rain load or other loads so we don't take into account the other loads I mean for this model 1.2 another video we, the one video will be uh, regarding the snow rain and other loads but in this video we will not take into account all the other loads so at d load is 1.2 Live load is 1.6 and earthquake load is 1. Okay, now the other way is to the uh, default design combos, which is uh, automatically defined by the it helps so concrete frame design select the concrete frame design and okay check this one with the we enter check the values of these two so the it have calculated 1.4 d load and the second is 1.2 1.6 the same as we entered so it is 1.2 1 in live load is 1 and the same as according to the code so we have to 
select this one and delete this threes so I delete this three and I select a default okay the ATAP are calculating the loads now we assign mesh to the floor so go to assign shell to the floors so here is the floor auto mesh option and select the last one default is the ATAP default according to the code so now you can select by your choice and now i select this one r to calculate and the further mesh we are uh, needed in minimum size is 1000 mm one meter it's okay the mesh has been assigned now go to the ground ground floor now we are 5.7 floor 7 height so 3 height is our landing height 1.5 is our tie beam height so now this is the zero height is ground level select all the connection select the story one restraint giants okay now go to the top floor this is the top story roof level now analyze check the model select all and ok we will see that the model has been checked and no warning message were fully generated so our model is ok for uh, run the analysis so you can run analysis from analyze analyze and run analysis the second way is here is the sign of analysis you can click on this wait for the result once the analysis is completed the result will be showing here so analysis is in progress wait till to the analysis analysis has been completed now we we have to check the model that it is verify or not so start design check from here you can also go to this concrete frame design and go to the start design check and the to, from the toolbar you can also check the click on the toolbar frame the uh, column sign can uh, now it is checked one by one column to column and beam to beam the result has been so now we you should to verify all the concrete members passed the design check it's okay all the members has been passed the design check so now we checking the different loads moments and she and shear loads this is the shear load 3 3 now you can see that the shear load is here and some columns the shear load is not transferred properly because the load is not properly signed to the uh, some somewhere so here then the bottom there is no not showing the uh, load it's the one way and the second way is because if the column size is more than the load size more load so they will not taking load so therefore you will, will be change the column sizes reduce the column width and depth so now this the beam is okay because the load is uh, the bending moment is maximum and the midpoint it is tie beam there is no load so here is not showing the loads because we entered the size of the tie beam as like the other beams 
now check it in earthquake x direction so the earthquake x direction is also okay check to the everyone uh, you can model x direction wind load and this one is now go to on defined shape go to plane view three story select it story number tala to anyone you want to select it. it's okay now we check the displacement select the load case did the load case is did load we selected and apply see the over turning factor is here over turning a displacement of the building go to deform on deform shape and check everyone load like live load The same is like did load. It is the same like the did load. So go to on deformed shape. Select the other load. Like a uh, live load. Again, it is same like the did load. Little bit. It is let. Uh, now check the earthquake load it is same all the loads will not be same because when you add the proper load combinations and proper it in next video with the professional video will be designed for the separately for this load combinations and for loads uh, measurements of uh, displacements and allowable displacement story drift and reports etc so now check the foundation go to 3d check the load is properly uh, transferred to the foundation or not if the any column we cannot transport the load properly so the reason we will discuss with the uh, discuss the reason so go to deep tabulated form so here you see that the load is in minus position somewhere and fz 1.616 kilonewton per meter square and the other is minus 6 and the sum is 6 from 1 to 10 kilonewton per meter square so it is it means that the load is not transferred properly to the foundation the reason is so now the load is not properly transferred to the foundation but it will discuss later on so now we check the other loads like moments to to bending moment it is bending moment so the bending moment is some sometime here is here is the bending moment is not proper in some positions we will discuss in next video that where is the bending moment and here this column is this column is proper to the size say the load is the middle column properly uh, transfer the load to the foundation so now check the model click on this checking click to check the model uh, the column model has been checked now right click on this so the detail will be appear for the column this is section name is b1 200 by 800 hmm. go to detail so the detail is here is available for to read so you can also copy this detail share with uh, words file as well okay now go to the plane and see that the top and bottom bars is also and click on right right click on the anyone so the detail will be here and as will the size will be also there so the black uh, column says this it is oh, oversized it means its size is more than the intensity of the load so the load is not transferred properly to the you now go to detail see that the ETF concrete frame design ACI 
3186 protein this is the top beam and bottom beam uh, bottom ribald so now this is bottom ribards and top ribards so now check the display design in two or go to design this is all the the table is also provided here go to display select the percentage of the steels okay now the percentage for the bottom and top bars is being displayed go to elevation for more detail so you know that the percentage in the bottom steel bar and the top steel bar is different such as 12 and bottom and 18 percent is top so when you go to top stories they were due to the wind load and other loads for such as earthquake and over over turning effects and displacement so therefore it is mentioned according to